السلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورفعنا لك ذكرك صدق الله مولانا العظيم Respected scholars شيخس guests and my dear audience السلام عليكم ورحمة الله First of all, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who made us Muslims and ordered us to believe in all his prophets and messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and last prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Secondly, we thank Mahabba Unlimited and especially Brother Fawad Nahdi who have provided us with an opportunity to spend this day in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. اکل جن و بشر کا یہاں ذکر کیا اکل روح اللہمی دنگ و حیران ہے شاعر کہتا ہے مقام مصطفیٰ اتنا عظیم ہے کہ اکل جن و بشر کا یہاں ذکر کیا اکل روح اللہمی دنگ و حیران ہے عظمت مصطفیٰ کی ملے حد کی سے یہ وہ دریا ہے جس کا کنارہ نہیں دیر آڈینس in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ We exalted for you your fame. We raised high for you your remembrance. It is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whose remembrance is raised high and the one raising it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse of the Holy Quran declares that the raising of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's remembrance is not dependent upon any scholar, any imam, any muhaddis, or any mufassir for the one raising this remembrance is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the creator and sustainer of the entire universe. A question arises, what is meant by raising the remembrance? What is the nature of this height? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated in a hadith Qudsi, iza zukirtu my dear prophet, wherever I am mentioned, you will be mentioned. Whoever remembers me will remember you. When the Muslim will say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, he will also say, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And if someone continues to say la ilaha illallah throughout his life. I will never accept it until he says Muhammadur Rasulullah. Warafana laka zikra. Another question arises. How high is this remembrance raised? What is the limit of this height? I will first give you an example to make it easy to understand. If a child of 12 or 14 years old kicks a football in the air, it would rise to a height of about 30 feet. If a 25-year-old 
kicks it, it would rise to a height of about 50 feet. If a world champion kicks it, it would rise to a height of about 70 feet. If it is asked that this football is of the same size, the same weight, and the same form, then why is there this difference in height? The answer is clear, that this difference is due to the difference in the power of the one who kicking the football. Keeping this simple example in the mind, the remembrance of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been raised by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Now, whatever the strength of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is, this is how high the remembrance of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be. The Holy Quran states, Inna Allah ala kulli shayin kadir. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has power over everything. His power is unlimited. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his unlimited power raised the remembrance of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, dear audience, ponder what would be the limit of that remembrance. It would seem that the remembrance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would also be unlimited. However, listen carefully, I would like to declare my belief that it is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who possesses unlimited powers and attributes. The remembrance of the Prophet sallallahu has a limit. But that limit is so high that my years of calculation shall end, but the limit of our Prophet's remembrance can never be measured. یہ سب کہنے کی باتیں ہیں یہاں تک ہے وہاں تک ہے خدا جانے کہاں سے جلوائے جانا کہاں تک ہے وہیں تک دیکھ سکتا ہے نظر جس کی جہاں تک ہے Dear audience He whose remembrance is raised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no such power in the world that can decrease it 